So guys, a while ago we made a video about the dump truck and there was a comment on there to see if we could turn it into a spa bath. And we're gonna try and do it today. We're gonna make a hot water heater for the dump truck. All right, so for the fire pit and the water heater, we're gonna use a keg. It's currently full of gas, so we're gonna have to depressurize it. I had the idea of shooting it with a 12 gauge, but everyone said that was a bad idea, so we have to do it properly. <laughs> I think that's the idea. I'm sure the 12-gauge after all, huh? I think the thingy grabs on there. Oh, my that easy. Control. Oh, that's a, that's a good smell. Okay, so now we're going to finish taking the center of the valve out of this keg now that it's been depressurized. Hey. And then Dan can drink all the beer. <laughs> don't tip it out, James. Oh, it's, it's rancid, Dan. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, like this. Well, at least it was empty. We didn't waste that much beer. All right, guys. So my idea was for the water. Everyone hates this idea, by the way. We can use the copper pipe and we can thread it through in stages and then crisscross it. And then you light the fire in the bottom and then you have a little door to put the wood in. And we just use some rubber tube to connect all the copper pipe up so we don't have to bend it. Start with the five and work our way up. You gonna mark it or just go for it? Ah, uh, you just eyeball it. <laughs> you wanna mark it, Dan? You can't do that. I think we should. Uh, we'll start with the center. Center at the top. Do you want to center punch it, maybe? Uh, no, 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 no. Hang on, all right. Hang on. There you go, center punch done. Let's do it. Sharp drill bits, Dan. Sharp drill bits. Dan, your drill doesn't like it. Copper pipe is, I think, 1270. So this is a 13. So hopefully, if you drill a hole that big, it'll slide straight through. No problemo. <laughs> Dan, you haven't got a good enough drill. Operator error. Kind of getting there. Maybe we should go smaller. <laughs> so, at least it's making some smoke. <laughs> Surely it's not stuffed already. Yeah, yeah, probably. Are. One hole will fuck the drill. <laughs> This is fucked, it's already, you can see it. Yeah, but you have to put through it. Um, like... <laughs> yeah, oh God. That's why you don't let James at your drills. <laughs> yeah, stainless is shit. Yep. Is this one broken too now? Yep. Ah, oh, fucking. <laughs> Thank me my sharpening, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Will she slide through? Uh oh. You know what I reckon's happened? That's not actually a 13mm drill bit. Dan, have you got your micrometers? This is, yeah, 1270. It is obviously the same. Not 13, I can tell you that. I don't know. Oh! High quality drills that drill undersize. Why do they drill undersize? They drill an undersized hole. We we'll just have to bore it out. Yeah, that's, um, that's a fair difference. Alright, I have a solution. Kafucker, they already can fuck drill bits. Up and just straight through. <laughs> See? Where'd the uh, pipe go? I can do a better job than a Chinese robot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. Aha! Oh, that. that goes through! Does it go to the other side? Oh, it does it! That's straight. We're, it? we're in business. It's actually pretty good, huh? Wow. I'm pretty wow. impressed with wow. that. It's even wow. in the center of the thing. You get a gold star. Hey! <laughs> Alright, All so now we've got to do 20 more of those and uh, we'll be in business. <laughs> Oh, the TIG! Oh, the TIG! How many times? <laughs> Let's go, TIG! Let's go! Oh, we've got to be safe for the internet. Hey, Dan, I got it! I got it! What are you doing? Come do it. I'm going to die for four. It doesn't line up with anything on the other side. Yeah, it does because it's like just to the right of the... No! Don't worry, it's still good. <laughs> Don't worry, it's still good! Just once, can you drill one hole without wrecking the drill bit? Just one hole. Dang, are you sharpening it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to spend my whole day on this bench grinder. So we're going to go up in increments of one, I think. Going up in increments of six, blunting the drill bit. The drill's dead! See? This is why we love man. Yes, spare. 
Whoa, that's actually a good repair. If you threw out every drill James broke, there wouldn't be any left in the country. <laughs> <laughs> I broke a 13 mil drill bit once. Increments of one seem to be the key. One mil. You gotta go one mil at a time. Well, they don't break. They don't like. They don't lighten themselves like instantly. For each hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing is, this is gonna get harder, harder, harder because those drill bits are gonna get more, more broken and more broken. You like that? I've heard brand new drill bits get him excited. This is the fifth hole. Yes. Yes. We're getting there. We're getting there. I know these ones are blunt. I did make a little pile for you and then I put them back when yeah. I used them again. I think you just push harder. Yeah. Isn't that what you do? Yeah. Well, it melts its way through the drill. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> then you get in the box and pull it out. <laughs> I understand how that happened. I didn't do it. You know what, James? I don't either. <laughs> okay, nearly, nearly finished the sixth hole. <laughs> All right, well, we've just finished the three holes. Well, it's actually six, but let's see if they actually fit. Out it goes. And... That doesn't look very straight, does it, Dan? No. <laughs> that yeah. That was intentional. Extra heat distribution. It's, it's for, yeah, thermal dynamics and stuff. I did try and hand you a ruler. <laughs> I did try. That one's pretty good. That's like... It's like a game of Kaplunk. It's <laughs> a game of Kaplunk. Yeah. I couldn't remember what the game was called. <laughs> I just remembered then. So now do you want to save me doing three more the other way? I do, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what happens when you get the IT guy to do manual labor. What do you reckon now? Good door size? Welcome to Aussie Arvos, William. Right in the rain. So somewhere around the vicinity yeah, of those yeah. shitty lines. Yep. She's a beaut. Like that. That's actually really well done. It's a lot better than I could have done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cut some slots uh, in within where the fire's gonna sit, so the fire can breathe and uh, burn. We're cutting them on an angle to let the air spiral, and also because yeah. it looks pretty. So we can have a vortex. Get the optimal, optimal, the vortex fire. <laughs> vortex. That's, now that's blunt. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> it would have helped if you bought, you know, drills that were worth more than $20 for a set. Well, that's why we built the cheap set, because we knew we were going to destroy a set of drills. Bunnings! Turns out, turns out they're not very good. They're By the time we drill all these holes in it, I'm going to have sharpened this down to the nub. <laughs> There's going to be nothing left of it. Oh, is that your drill, dude? Yeah. <laughs> See? Australian made. It's, it's meant working. to drill through kegs. <laughs> So straight issue, <laughs> All this from the man who amazingly once snapped a 13 mil drill bit. What the hell? to go slow. <laughs> you gotta burn a groove in the side of the drill. Careful, it's hot. <laughs> it's okay, they were cheap. They were cheap. High mount. That's actually <laughs> fucking grouse. That would draw so well. That's exhaust pipe, isn't it? Yeah. That's what you use for the Yeah. Nah, it's just normal. Oh, fuck it, I can do that. <laughs> so, um. 
nearly finished it. Um, the idea is that you're going to get like a 12, a 12 volt pump and uh, the water will be flowing through these tubes over the fire. Uh, you have an inlet like up here and a cold outside out over here and uh, pumps out hot water. Should work really well. Now for the uh, big question, how to plumb it up so it doesn't <laughs> kink. And run that one to... Center one to the other center one? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> what is this contraption? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you get pulled up by the police with this on the back of you, they're gonna like look at that and be like, what the <laughs> hell is that? <laughs> it is. Quite something. I'm gonna try and hose in the end and see if it leaks. If she leaks, damn, where's the hose? <laughs> oh, oh. It's going through. <laughs> ah, it's not a single leak. That's perfect. <laughs> it works. Oh, <laughs> that is. You that on so Fantastic. Nice. Didn't leak at all, that's great. You got a test for leaks in the rain. Well, I can see there was, there was nothing pissing out, you know? <laughs> now we need to do is light a fire in her. Well, I've seen the water go through it. Yeah. So yeah. Was like, oh, it's, it went in, oh, it's, it's going on, oh, yeah. Now just to see if it melts or not. <laughs> well, we know it's going to, it's going to, that, we don't know if that, if it works, it works. I can't imagine it working very long. We'll see. Not with you around, that thing will be glowing. <laughs> and the pipes will melt. <laughs> 